Aloha golfers! Welcome to Golf in the Cosmos, episode number 19. I'm Kevin Robowski and here we talk all things McElgrady and Morad. Today's video is a very special one. It's taken in Spain, May of 1994. And McElgrady is teaching Severiano Ballesteros. And Basically, Sevi is a very special human being and golfer, Hall of Fame. If you don't know Sevi in his career, that's something you definitely want to look up. One of probably the top three short game wizards that ever lived. So very much noted for his great hands, his great touch, his ability to pr produce all kinds of creative shots and basically comes from a story childhood where he learned golf with a three iron uh, on the beach and uh, and had to impro improvise and came up through the caddy ranks which was very common back in that generation and what we see here is mac helping sevi with swing mechanics so this is a very in-depth video um, covering irons, um, I think uh, fairy wood and driver at the end. So definitely you want to stay tuned at the end for Seve hitting driver. It's actually hitting it very, very straight. So before we talk a little bit about the video, 1994 was a very special year for uh, Mac and, and myself and Morad in general. So it was a year of resurrection. Mac decided to do golf symposiums. The summer of 94, I think August was the first one in San Diego. And um, what we started to do as a team, myself, Bob Laskin, Terry Okura, Scott Watkins, we were the assistant teachers in these symposiums. And, uh, and we had some great teachers, tour pros, uh, aspiring pros, um, amateurs. It was a great uh, mix of students of the swing. And at this time, Mac's resurgence probably started with Sevi and Sevi making a comeback. Sevi definitely um, improved his driving ability with his work with Mac. And he actually won a European tour event in this era, 94. So it was uh, a year where we started to get great traction in terms as a team, a Morad team. And so with Sevi and uh, Mac helping him, Mac started to uh, ignite more interest amongst tour pros. So suddenly we had uh, Steve Elkington, Vijay Singh, Tommy Elmer III, Grant Waite, and more. So it was uh, a time where Morad was now returning to, let's say, a more forefront of golf instruction, um, which it had been in maybe 1986. And then there was a time where there was a sort of a lapse. And now we're getting back into this resurrection and it really felt like we were gonna be a part of something really big. And this was also kind of corresponding with the birth of the Golf Channel. So Mac wasn't getting any coverage yet, really in the mainstream, a little bit, you know, just at that time, Golf Digest, Golf Week Magazine, these things were covering some of Mac's um, endeavors as a teacher, but um, really wasn't, weren't getting a lot of traction yet on national television. Um, and unfortunately, um, this great resurgence was short-lived. And uh, so we can go into that in another episode, but um, in this era, mid 90s, this video really reflects what Mac was teaching. And uh, so it was a little bit of a departure from the 80s. And uh, definitely he was stressing some different things, but not going into what late Morad became. So um, Mac is definitely not afraid to get into it with Sebi in terms of getting a little technical. Uh, and Sevi can handle it. Now, what's interesting about this video is basically it kind of shows Sevi's out of shape. Um, 
and he's getting into maybe at this time, I want to say late 30s, maybe early 40s. And uh, so he's not done a lot of good stuff, probably with his flexibility or his cardio. And Matt kind of wears him out a little bit, although it doesn't seem that strenuous to me. But, you know, it is to Sebi. So that's all a reflection of you putting in the work, doing the stretching, doing, doing the yoga, doing the cardio. Mac certainly was. So Mac was definitely running the mountain in Palm Springs, doing his yoga. And so he stayed in fantastic physical condition. So just to kind of give you a preview of what you're going to see on this video. Um, so Mac is helping Sebi do probably three main things. And, and to Mac's credit, pretty much stays on those three lines, and then that's really it. And Mac's being very encouraging and uh, also uh, explaining himself very well, and actually quite simply. So I think this is, uh, you know, Mac got a lot of criticism for, you know, working with Sevi, Sevi being a field player, Mac being a technical teacher. And, they, and there was a perception that, you know, Mac hurt Sevi or, or, or guided him off direction. This video is great evidence that Mac did no such thing. Mac was a huge asset to Sevi, and Mac really simplified Sevi's moving parts so that it didn't rely so much on his great timing that he had when he was in his 20s. Right? But his Sevi swing relied on perfect timing, athleticism, hand-eye coordination. This deteriorates in eight as we age. So we want to make the swing simpler and easier on the brain, and that's exactly the direction Mac went with Sevi. So if you look at Sevi's older swings, he had a big move, you know, wide stance, very crouched, big move off the ball to the right, uh, upright swing, lower body driving forward, head dropping back, and then having to kind of chase it forward, coming around like that, um, and trying to save it. And so when his timing was on, you know, he could do it. Um, and certainly he proved that time and time again, especially in Europe, um, and where conditions are usually worse, you know, he can save par from all these different situations. And, uh, and definitely sometimes European conditions sometimes are difficult for the American players uh, because we get such perfect conditions in America. But Mac uh, basically had played a lot of golf with Seve in the 80s when they were on the tour. So Mac played a lot of practice rounds, uh, at, especially at the majors with Seve and with Jose Maria Lotha ball as well. And uh, so Mac kept a lot of these points, especially the short game, what Seve was doing. Um, because of, you know, he marveled at Sevi's ability to get the ball up and down. But swing-wise, Sevi had basically a complicated swing that relied on timing, and in this video, Mac is trying to simplify it. So, just to preview it, number one is try to get Sevi to not pick the club so up, right? right? So, Sevi tends to pick it up on a vertical plane, get his left arm very high like this, and Mac's helping him find P2, which is parallel to the toe stance line, get the shaft a little bit shallower, more, uh, more inclined, and then stretch across the left arm and get into a very um, deep P4 position. Left arm across and shaft more on plane. At this time, that will be more down the line still, not laid off and get Sebi to, at the same time as he's, as he's doing it, is to pivot, right? So the right hip goes back. So P1 to P2, and then the right hip starts to move back, trying to pivot the hips, pivot, turn the shoulders, stretch across, and then come right back down and hold the lag, right? So that's the third point is Developing more lag for Sevi, keeping the right wrist bent into P6 longer, try to get Sevi's power back. Um, Mac is saying that Sevi would, uh, when he was younger, he would be able to go upright, really slide and drive his lower body forward, which would drop the club back onto the plane, and then he'd have to fire and chase forward to go more down the line. Otherwise, he'd get stuck underneath it. 
Um, but as, he, as Sevi got um, older, he wasn't able to quite slide his hips so much. So he started to come down more vertically and then cast it. So he would lose the lag, uh, P5 to P6. And, uh, and then at impact, it actually hit a little bit up on the ball with a little bit of right hand flippage. And he was you know, creating a lot of errors for, 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 uh, for Sevi. So uh, Max trying to clean that up. So left arm across the shoulder plane, pivot the hip, turn the shoulders, more pivot, less sliding back and forth, and then developing this lag. And one thing that uh, Mac is trying to tell him is that instead of trying to get, line it up at P6 down the line, is try to get the, the club head to stay a little bit more inside the hands, and that's a way to get the lag in deeper, right? So um, like Hogan, if you return the club from a more shallow inside plane, then the lag stays retained longer. Now, this can sometimes be confusing in the Morad world because Mac is most of the time advocating a CP movement, which is sort of a shift to the left from P4 to P5. So Mac, the way Mac would describe it is once you're at P4, the hips uncoil, the left arm gets parallel to the ground at P5, but you don't keep going outward. At this point, torso tilt number two kicks in, and then the shaft, Kind of lowers down inside the hands like this straighten the left knee come around bingo and that's how the sequencing worked at that time you'll notice in this video mac doesn't talk anything about closed stance or excessively forward pressed hands or shifting to the left immediately so this does not exist in this video mac is basically trying to give sevi a very centered swing and um and a little bit flatter and also more lag. And that was it, those three things, that's what they work on. And Mac does some demonstration here. It's uh, video quality, again, isn't great from this era. Audio is a little weird. Mac has got the microphone in kind of a strange, well, it's basically in and out a little. So you'll have to be patient with that. Otherwise, it's very great stuff and it's a very intimate look inside uh, a lesson with Mac and Sevi, and definitely evidence that Mac was very beneficial, uh, very beneficial influence on Sevi's swing. And here you can see for yourself. Enjoy, we'll see you next week. Aloha. Okay, do it again. You have to feel like everything, your hands will go Turn out of the way, start over again. Right here? Right here, see you hit your right hips in the way, right? Yeah. Okay. Turn it out of the way, move your arms and hands that way, right? Yeah, yeah. one more time. More inside. All right, now see the first thing happens here, now the hands are farther behind the right shoulder. Aim that way, I'll show you what I mean. Just aim that, aim that I, way. I know 100% what you mean, already. Okay, now that's what, you know, okay. And just go inside, okay, right. You feel how tight this feels? One more time. So it's behind. Yeah. It's not, uh, exactly. That's why, it's, that's why sometimes I pull the arms exactly. down. Exactly. You know, I don't use it. Exactly. Because they're already set for that. Yeah. The brain, the brain knows. The brain knows, right? So I need to feel that this goes straight. Yeah. Right inside. Right shoulder, hands, everything. Right hip gets out of the way. Also? Also. I mean, immediately. Everything goes that way. One more time. So if I put this right here, go inside. All right, one more time, one more time. I, I'm going to get out of the way. If I put this right here, go inside. Inside, 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 inside. Yeah, one more time. Is that correct? Yeah, one more time. Turn your right hip out of the way more, more inside. All right. Okay, one more time. I'm going to, I'm going to, right here in the back swing, I'm moving the down swing. Go ahead, move everything out of the way, go. One more practice swing. Let's see one more. Okay.
I want to see that shot. I think it's, I think it's very straight on the, on the impact. How do, how do you? Oh, no, I don't know. <laughs> Ready? <clears throat> Take a practice one. Okay, keep the club more back behind you. More? More behind you, the club head. Okay, stay right there, stay right there, stay right there. Don't move. Okay, bring it down. Bring the club underneath it. Keep going under, bring it under. Ah, ah, you went outside. Okay, keep going under. There you go. One more time. Take a practice one. Full practice one. Keep the club head back. That means, see this? This has to stay bent. Stay right there, stay right there. This stays bent like Hogan. You can bring the club, no problem. You go like this. It goes out too early. So I need to keep this. Yeah, this all okay. the right elbow has to straighten out and the cuts come all the way like this. Sneeds pictures show all of those things. So if I put the shaft right here. It should be here, no? Right, keep going, go, 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 keep right going. There? Keep going. Right. Take a practice swing. Now remember, if you don't keep the club head back, you're gonna you're gonna smack my hand here. Yeah. Okay, more practice swing. Keep it keep it under more. Go. One more time. I'm not capable of doing a slow motion. How can I do it in, the, in reality? <laughs> huh? you, you, you have to take it up like this, and you have to turn. Just hold it right there, then just turn right back on down. So you're moving your arms, right? You want to turn. Go with the body, eh? The body, and just bring it, bring it down. Just keep the back of the right wrist the same. Don't move it or throw it or anything. Okay, let's take a look. Tell me again. Well, from, from the top, I have to feel that the hands are way stopping, stopping on the downswing and pull with the body. Right, up. exactly, right. Right? Okay. And yes. keep the back of the right wrist bent, which will keep the club head coming back down from the inside, right? If the cut right wrist goes too much, it starts going out. You've always done that. Yeah. What? Yes. 
By the way, this is a major power leakage. This is where you leak the power. That was better? Yeah. More? No, no, that's fine. Look fine. Not the power there, eh? Do you feel it? But no control, right? No, 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 no. Yes, you will. Yes, you will. Yes, you will. Hogan had it. Hogan had it. Sneed, those guys had it. Maximum power, maximum control. Now, if you watch these balls, they're going another 15 yards farther. Yeah. What? That's because I... Exactly, yeah. The body... This is where you're going to get your power back from these, these kind of alignments. Remember, you've got a long ways to go. I mean, I don't want to throw too much, but... Thank I mean, you, uh, <laughs> 10 years, eh? No, no, no. You not anywhere from about three months, right? You know, that one you didn't hit as good as the other one, but the ball still yeah. still went 5, 10 yards farther, see? That's the goal. And you got to keep the back of the right wrist, yeah, straighten your elbow a little bit more, straighten the elbow. Right, 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 and keep this back a little more, right, then go. Okay? Yeah. It's amazing, huh? Watch, if, if I hit this ball, I'm not going to hit it, but if I were to hit this ball this this direction, I take it up and I just come on back down. See how the club head's staying back? Yeah. Going up like this, I right back like this. What you do, you go like this. Goes that way. Yeah. That's that's where you lose a, a lot of the power. Especially with the longer the club is. These balls, that ball's going, that ball went 20 yards farther than the other ball. The fire, right? No, 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 you're hitting down, you got good compression. Here, let me hit one ball, one. The fire. This is where the, uh, the timing, if the right wrist and all these alignments are good, you know, I can walk up and not hardly practice and my timing is always very good. And one more. This one I'll do the same thing, but I won't take as big a divot this time. Get more up. Yeah. But if you could see the shaft come down, it's coming down this way, see? And the back of the right wrist is staying bent. There. Here. Okay, one more time. Is that correct? Yeah, well, right. one, more, one more time. Okay, go ahead. Stop the P2 right here. Go ahead. Okay, keep going. Right there like this, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, now go to the top of the swing. Bring it all the way down to here. Well, down, all the way down to there. Yeah. And keep the club in. Same thing. Start again. Start again. Start again. No. I, sorry. You okay? So what I do, I, I, I go a little bit this way. Yeah, you know? that's why the shaft, yeah, your right elbow's got to keep straightening out, and the left elbow's got to go like that. Do it again. Stop the shaft right here, P2. A little bit more, take it parallel. Okay, right there. Okay, now go ahead, go to the top. Bring your hands all the way down to the shaft. Keep the club at inside. There you go, right. Yeah, hold on. Okay, now go left, go, right. So I don't have to go with the body down. I have to go down with it. With the, uh... Arm, but you're going to go down with your body because you're not you're not going to lower your body. You're going to turn back. So the way you would do this, you go like this. This is right. You take it back, and your right wrist will catch it right here, parallel to the ground, right? Okay. okay one more time. Go back. Step it down. Keep it. One more time. Start over, start over, hold over. Aim this way now. Go that way. Amazing, huh? <laughs> Go, <laughs> <out higher. laughs> Go that way. Aim that way. Se ve el cortijo te cerraba yo allí un poco de paja una vez a la semana. He says it's very easy, huh? They think it's so easy. <laughs> ¿Cuánto comido? Dime la verdad. Dime la verdad, ¿eh? Un poco de ensalada. Un poco. 
que me he quitado todo. ¿no? La comida salada porque solo se ha comido un buen cuarto de su vida. No, no, that's fine, look fine. Just do it again, do it again. Go to P2 and stop. Shot parallel, okay, go to the top. Top, bring it down. All the way down, keep the club at inside. Here they go, again, one more time. Go to the top, same thing. All the way up, come all the way down. Okay, okay stop right, right here like this. Keep the club at up, okay, now. One more time. Okay, all the way up. Bring it all the way down, all right, and stop. Put it your hands just over your right leg. Your hands, your hands are just over your right leg and the shaft's right here, parallel to the ground, right? Okay. A little bit outside your stance line. Do it one more time. Let me rest a little bit. I mean, you don't know how much uh, stress is in the I know, body. but you got it. it you, oh, I just want you to hit one more. I don't want to wear out. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 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 So the thing is, if this is 30 inches from the ground, this is 30 inches from the ground, you're going to feel like this is 30 inches from the ground, then you just pivot. So here's the sand wedge, it looks like this. How do you get the power of the compression like that, you see? The, the club is staying back, coming in from the inside, you see? Very good. Let's take a look. One practice swing. Bring it all the way down. Okay, there you go. Again. If you can feel that you can Bring my club down, and the back of the right wrist stays bent like this, and, and, and delay this, but just hold on a little bit longer. And then just keep moving left. See, what you do, you kind of go like this. You, you go, you bring the club down, then all of a sudden you release it, right? You got to just go, just feel like you just go like this, and the club will release itself. Uh-huh. What? Yeah. You don't have to release it. It will go. Momento, no? Once it gets parallel to the ground, it will go. The momentum will yeah. be. Yes. Yeah. 
And when you had your maximum power, that's what you did. Look, yeah. Must be good, huh? Yeah. 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 Now, you got it. That was it. Good. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I kept it was doing a little bit uh, longer, right? To do that, I need to move the, uh, the body more. That way. That way, right? Yep. All right, let's do a test here. Let's take your right index finger and put it right here. Put it as far up the shaft as you can like this. This will help you keep the club head cut. Watson's grip is like this. That's why Watson drops the club too early. Because he doesn't have the finger here like this to keep it up. Now you do this right now. You're going to do it at that. I have the fingers very much uh, but there. Eh? Uh, farther. This is the test. I'll show you. How to keep the club head up a little bit longer. That's what Trevino does. Farther. More. More. More work. Like this. It's, you're not going to do this. You're just an experiment. Father, you go ahead. Set up. Yeah. Your right hand's too weak. Move it more to the right. Okay, more. Okay, right there. And move this farther down like that. Okay, now go to the top of the swing. Go to the top. Okay. Bring it all the way down, but keep the club head up. Bring this down here. Straighten the arm out. Like that. Okay, do it again. And get your weight going more left in the downswing. Right. Okay, yeah. yeah, go ahead. One more. <laughs> My job is to show you that how to do it. Okay. Now the question is, doing the competition, you know that takes time. All right. But this is where this is where if the right check, I better do it. Okay. If the if the watch. If this finger is down the shaft more, it's easier to keep it bent all the way down like this. This goes like this, it starts falling early. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> and you can do this on little chip shots, you can do it on little punch shots. Okay? Remember, like Trevino, Trevino will go like this, he line this up, look at my fingers, look at this, look at this. Yes. Okay. If you have the pressure like this, man, then the next thing, it goes this way. By the way, if I want to take out a, if I want to take out a big hook with a sand wedge or something, yeah. I will put my thumb right on top. Yeah. Like, uh, and then and then just go and then <laughs> like this. And then this turns it over faster. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah, right. See? If you want to do that. Yeah. But as a general rule, I mean it's very, very tender and very soft. And that will slow down the rhythm even more. On the downswing, where yeah, you can, sure. you can just go like this and not feel like it's going that way. Yeah, you want to see? No, I didn't get it on film. No? Uh, we're, we are recording now. Okay, let me do one. <laughs> right. <laughs> you want to see? Take a look and see what.
Take, uh, take two practice swings. Hold on a second. Okay, and keep the club head down. Right, one more time. Straighten your right elbow a little bit more at P6. Uh, uh, stop at P6 with the shafts parallel to the ground. Right, up just a little bit more. Okay, one more time. Practice swing, up and down. Okay, we're going to hit it. Ready? Three. Is that correct? Yeah. Three, two. Got to do it quick so the mem memory stays in there. Ready? Okay. Keep the right, back of the right wrist bent. All right. practice swings. Are you going to go over the trees or just left? Just a little bit left. All right. Take a look at that one. Okay. May I use this club? Again. Okay, go to tilt P2 and stop. And you're going to use the parallel, right? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Okay, go to the top. Come in all the way down. Okay, one more time. Okay. We'll start over again. Okay. Go to P2. And you're like this. Right. Okay, all the way up and bring it all the way down. And down. And right, back to the top again. Up, down. One more time, back to the top. Yeah. Okay. That's good, huh? Yeah. Then, then, then when you're at P6, everything just That's moves good together. To do it for muscle memory, no? Exactly. Yeah. And that's how you uh, you make the muscles soft here, and you straighten this out. You you straighten this out like that. You keep, the key is to straighten the right elbow out and keep the club head up. You go. Your right elbow straightens out, and you go like that. That's a bit more. Yeah, uh, that's too far. Now you just want to go just this right here, right here, just right there. Yeah, again. That correct? Yeah, that's right. Go, go do it. That correct? Yeah. Go really? to the top. Yeah. Go to the top. Just to right here with a longer foot. Right. Uh -huh. right Aim this way so the camera sees it. I know this is tough. People don't know. All right. Okay. All right. Go ahead. Make sure you're, uh, he's he's in the center of the picture. Okay. Go ahead. Okay. Go to the top. Okay. Bring it down to right here. No. Yeah. This way? Yeah, yeah, see, see. Aim just a little more to your right, one inch, one inch. No, no, come this way, come this way. Okay, no. okay go to the top. Yeah, right there. All right, perfect. One more time. Top. Yeah, right, one more time. One more time. Close. Ready? Okay, go. Oh. Go. Go. All right, okay, come take a look. Perfectly straight. <clears throat> Perfectly straight. Ah, 
five yard fade. Put it out, he doesn't want to work. Yeah. For me? Yeah. <laughs> he doesn't want to work. Yeah. Well, for me? Yeah. Let me see, yeah? You, you recorded that? Yeah, yeah. Let me take a look. Yeah. Go, sit. Make sure your chin stays down. How does the club feel? It's good. Yeah. Good cut. Are you going to try them? I think you better stay with the other ones, eh? Si, 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 si. Si, si, Perfectly straight, little fade at the end. Okay, take a look. Uh, couple of off. Straight ball. Take a couple of practice swings, bending the back of the right wrist, P2, P4, P6. P6, P4, P6. Yeah, go ahead. A couple of practice swings. Practice swing P2, all right, P4, keep the back of the right wrist bent, that's P3, P4, come down to P6, keep the back of the right wrist bent all the way down. There you go, one more time, back up the top. Okay. All the way down to P6. Okay, all right, go ahead and hit it. Yep, go ahead. Quick, 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 the battery's going out. You have about five more inches to bring it down, that's all. Back of the right wrist bent, go inside. Very good, we be in. Nice little fade, medium trajectory. Take a look, hit it. Very good, we got them both on there. That's up on top. I, uh, it looks good, but I can't tell unless we slow it down. Quick, 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 with the battery still going. Very good. 